今世紀を代表するピアノの巨匠ウラディーミル・ホロビッツは去る11月5日ニューヨークの自宅で亡くなりました葬儀はおととい11月10日彼が敬愛したトスカニーニが眠るミラノで行われました Today, folded in an exceptional November sun, Milan and famed Teatro La Scala have paid their last and deep felt tribute to Vladimir Horowitz, Volodya, as his close friends used to call him, died of a heart attack at his home in New York on November the 5th at the age of 85. And the news of his death came unexpectedly, conveying. As in the case of Herbert von Karajan's death, the clear sensation of one epoch coming to an end, leaving an immense void behind. Inside the theatre, his grand piano, covered with flowers, too. The same Steinway that he took along in all his prodigious performances, Horowitz never accepted using another piano but his own for his concerts. Was now standing in the beautiful theater, silent and yet so powerfully present. Horowitz's body was flown to Milan on Thursday evening. He had hoped and promised Superintendent of Teatro La Scala to attend the opening of the theater's opera season next 7th of December. The maestro had always nourished a special feeling towards Milan. Here, he got married to Arturo Toscanini's daughter, Vanda Toscanini, a few months after being chosen to solo for the Italian conductor's last in a series of Beethoven's concerts in 1933. Vanda Toscanini herself, whose enduring and dedicated experience next to Horowitz. Proved fundamental in this extraordinary man's life. She decided to bury her husband in the Toscanini family grave, where not only her renowned father lies, but also Sonia, Vanda and Volodia's only child, tragically died 17 years ago. In accordance with his will, Vladimir Horowitz's coffins. Has been located next to Sonia's. So, there we are. 1987年このミラノで行われましたレコーディングからホロビッツ晩年の演奏をお送りします。